Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little stockings. I use them for gift card holders where you can hang them on the tree as decorations. You can hang them from the mantle. I think they're just cute for tiny little presents. If you have a secret Santa you could put a little present in it and leave it on their desk. Just cute. So I have several of them right here. My pattern is really, really easy. So let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! There's several ways that you can do this. For example, this one, if you wanted to have the toe and the heel be different colors, I'll do a shout out when it's time for that. Otherwise, this one is just continues being all the same yarn. This one is all the same yarn. And this one, I didn't do the toe, I did the heel and then I did the top. So you really can just mix and match this anytime you want, any way you want, any yarn you want. So I'm just using the hook that is called for with the yarn. So I have a five millimeter hook. I don't remember what this yarn is called. I have it all spooled up with my yarn winder, but it came in, it was huge. It was huge. It was like a one a pound of love kind of thing. I don't remember what it is, but it looks like a candy cane. So I wanted to use this one today to make this cute little stocking. Start out with a magic circle. If you're not familiar with a magic circle, you can see a tutorial that I have on YouTube. So right here I have my magic circle and within this I am going to do one single crochet and I always mark my stitches. Everybody knows that. I also have a clicker because I want to keep track of my rounds since I'm going to be talking. Ha ha ha. Alright, so there's one, but inside this magic circle I want to do eight single crochets. So there's the very first one. There's two and eight. Now you can see also with these four that I made here, they change in size a little bit. It depends on the yarn and the hook that you're using. So if you want a little tiny one, you can use a smaller hook. If you have fat yarn, you're going to end up having a bigger stocking because you need a bigger hook. But I'm using a five, so it should come out right about here in this middle size. Because I believe I used a six on this one and a six on this one, just because I wanted to have some various sizes. Right, so there's our eight single crochets in our magic circle. I can tighten it up just a little bit. I don't like to make it fully tight until I get a couple of rounds in, just so it doesn't make all of these stitches in here too tight. Now for round two, we're going to do an increase, which is... I'm going to do a single crochet and move the stitch marker. And the way you increase when you're doing in the round is you do two single crochets in each stitch from the first round. So we're e increasing from 8 to 16. So there is number 1 and there's number 2 goes in that same stitch. And then over here there's 2, 6, stitch number 7, and there's number eight of our first round. So that's number 16. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. So there you go, round two is done already. So that's easy. Now we're gonna increase on round three one more time. And the way you do the third round of an increase when you're working in the round like this in a circle is single crochet in that first stitch and of course I always replace my stitch marker and one more single crochet into that same stitch so here we have two and in the next stitch it just gets a single crochet so you repeat that all the way around there's two singles here and then one single in the next stitch and there's my last two stitches there's two single crochets in this stitch one single crochet in that last stitch. That was round three. We did another increase. So now is about the time that I think, okay, I can tighten this all the way. I'm happy. So you just take this long tail from the beginning and you pull on it nice and tight and it closes up the circle. Round four is super easy. All you need to do is single crochet all the way around, which would be 24. That last round we increased from 16 to 24. 
So now we're just going to do all the way around of 24. I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. Just single crochets all the way around. Meet you at the stitch marker in just a moment. There's my last stitch of round four. Uh oh, I forgot to click. That's round four. I'm going to want to keep track of these rounds for sure. All right, so now if you were choosing to make a little stocking like this where you wanted the toe to be different, now would be time to change colors. I'm going to make this one all the way through, starting right here is where we started is at the toe. So the brown here is the first four rows. So now we're going to move on to round five. Since we're not changing colors, we can just keep right on going. Again, it's a single crochet all the way around. So again, 24 single crochets. And I'll meet you at the stitch marker. The last two stitches of round five. Now I remember to click, click. You can see it's starting to starting to curl up. We'll just push it this way because this is the wrong side. You can kind of tell where the tail is. Probably on most people, the tail side is going to end up being on the wrong side. See, it's a little fuzzy. Just doesn't look quite as nice as this side. So you just push everything like that because this will be the outside part that shows of the toe. Now round 6 through 13 will all be, this was round 5 right here, this is rounds 5 through 13 right here. Those are all a single crochet around 24. So I'll meet you back here in a minute. I'm gonna couple, there's my last two stitches in round 13. Click. There go. There's our little toe. And it's funny, I couldn't have planned that any better. The way that this variegated yarn worked, it looks like I did a toe on purpose. So that's really fun. And then there's a big white stripe here. This is cute. I like how this is working out. I did not plan that, but I sure did get lucky. Now with round 14, we're going to start working on the heel. So that's little this part right here. So if you wanted to change colors, right now would be the time to do so. If you did that, you just drop this yarn and start anew in this stitch right here. Just drop this yarn and wait its turn for next time. So I'm just going to keep right on going. So for round 14, I'm just going to single crochet 12 instead of 24. We're going to do 12. Just going to go halfway. One, two, eleven and 12. See, we only went halfway around from this stitch marker to my hook. So click. Round 14. Round 15 through 19 are exactly the same. This we're going to chain one and turn our work and do 12. So this is round 15. Only single, single crochet these 12. My last three stitches on row 19 and this is stitch number 12. There we go. Looks like this. All right, so there's the end of round 19 which makes our heel. The tricky way that I do this, we don't want the seam to show right here. We don't want that to show. So what we do is take this and fold it to the outside. We have it like this. Fold it right sides together. This is actually the wrong side that's showing the right sides together. And along the top right here, we're going to want to single crochet those together or a slip stitch. Either way, because they're not going to show. So whichever one you wish to use. I'm just going to single crochet one. Make sure you go through both sides through this stitch and through that stitch. There we go, there's the last one. Boom. And at this point, finish this off. Because that's not going to show. There's the stitches that we just did to close up the heel. The wrong side was showing, the right side is tucked in, so we're going to untuck that right side. And now it's magically a heel. Now if you were changing colors again right now, obviously you are done with this brown. 
So now you'd pick up your yarn that was from over here from the previous color, but I am just using this color right now. I'm going to start on this side right here. I'm going to reattach my yarn and we're just going to single crochet all around the top of the toe. Let's see, oh, I forgot to mark that. I'll want that in a second. Mark that. I had already stitched three and twelve. There's twelve around the front right here and now we want twelve around the back even though these are the wrong edges. We're just going to make six work on this side of the seam and six on this side of the seam. So for another 12, so we'll end up with a total of 24. So see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We put six up this side to the seam. Just evenly space them out. There's one, two, three, five and six and then you want six down this side meeting back up here so however you wish to do it one two three there's four five and six and back up with their stitch marker right here so now we are going to start working this direction. Very simple. All right, so we're going to take out our stitch marker. Go right into that stitch. Now we get to start working the top of the stocking. We are more than halfway done. That was row 20. There's only 34 rounds in the whole thing. Um, all the way up to round 33 is just 24 single crochets all the way around. So this was round 20, starting round 21, single crochet all the way around. So that was row 21, very simple, all the way around. This is row 22 is starting. I will meet you back after we do 24 single crochets all the way around and you are done with round 30. Three. So I'll see you back at my stitch marker at the end of round 33. There's the end of round 33. We have a stocking. There's only one thing left to do. Just have to make sure that you're at the back. The top back. Chain 15. Slip stitch into the next stitch. That makes the little hanger. So we can finish this off. Any way you wish to finish it off will work just fine. But there you have it. Any way you wish to finish that off. I'm just going to tuck that in there for right now. I'm not going to weave in my end. Isn't that cute? So again, I have all of these options here. All made with the same pattern. Just depends on the hook and the yarn that you use. Use the corresponding hook. And this is so cute. Again, they all have hangers. You can put them on the tree. You can hang them from the mantle. You can hang them from your cubicle wall. You can hang them from a doorknob. They're just cute and fun. They, they crochet up really, really fast. I love these little guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please stop by again and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.